Elsewhere tonight as rescuers battle the clock and deteriorating weather conditions, the search continues for survivors trapped under mounds of debris following the deadly quake at the Turkey-Syria border. Even as the death toll continues to mount, there are signs of hope amid the ruins. KTLA's Carlos Saucedo joins us live in studio with the latest on the unfolding disaster. Carlos? Micah, share these heartbreaking images of death and destruction. They're widespread. First responders have a short window of time to save as many lives still trapped in that rubble. Tonight, officials on the ground say 7,900 people have died, thousands more left injured. <laughs> Cheers erupt during search and rescue efforts in Turkey, where it's now Wednesday morning. A 10-year-old girl is kissed on the cheek by her grandfather as she's pulled out alive after being buried for 47 hours. Amid the catastrophic devastation afflicting both Turkey and Syria following Monday's magnitude 7.8 quake, there are signs of hope. In Syria late Tuesday, this inspiring moment Rescuers pulled an entire family from a collapsed building, including several young children, now reunited. <laughs> then, a sense of urgency as a rescuer covered in dust runs with a crying newborn in his hands. The baby girl is now in a Syrian hospital. She suffered hypothermia, cuts and bruises. <laughs> First responders say the umbilical cord was still attached to her mother who was found dead. <laughs> Rescuers are still hoping to find survivors digging through the rubble, but time is of the essence. The U.S. and other countries are sending search and rescue teams. This elite team with L.A. County Fire was deployed Monday evening out of Pacoima. They are on a military jet en route to Turkey, set to arrive shortly. The immeasurable destruction has triggered new concerns in California. It's what we worry about in California. It's why we keep on talking about the San Andreas Fault, because it runs through our backyard. Seismologist Dr. Lucy Jones says we have not had a true catastrophic quake in more than 100 years, but it's only a matter of time. You know, when we model what's going to happen in California for a big southern San Andreas earthquake, we estimate 1,500 collapsed buildings, because those are the buildings that we know are deficient, and for now, the focus remains on Turkey and Syria. Tens of thousands are still trapped, injured, and left homeless. And citizens are still dealing, dealing with aftershocks. The humanitarian crisis efforts just beginning. Mike and Chair. Carlos, thank you. Stay with KTLA 5 as we continue to monitor the latest on the deadly earthquake in Turkey and Syria. For the latest anytime, you can also head to KTLA.com or download our free KTLA 5 app. A disturbing